moved to New York with my single mom. Ever since, mom had to work really hard to support us both. I had a happy life, except when I was four, I fell really sick once, and after I recovered, I'd lost hearing completely in one ear. Luckily, one of mom's employers was an ear doctor, and she gave me a hearing aid that I could easily hide behind my hair. Mom had to work double shifts for months to pay for it, but when it was time for school, she put me in the best one in town. On the very first day as I walked in, I bumped straight into a girl and we both fell down. So did my hearing aid. Watch where you're going, loser face. I quickly picked up my hearing aid and ran off before the girl got up. But soon after, she walked into my classroom. Her name was Claire, and she just kept glaring at me the whole time. Later that day at the cafeteria, she came to my table and banged her tray on it. This is my seat, Dumbo. Oh, oh wait. What's that twinkling thing behind your hair? Uh, that's just a hearing aid. I, I have a... Ew! Didn't someone tell you this isn't the right school for kids with problems? With that, she suddenly pulled my hearing aid and threw it down on the floor. Just as she was about to stomp on it, a girl my age leapt out of nowhere and grabbed her leg. Don't you dare do that, you bully witch! Claire just kicked her off and laughed. <laughs> oh, how sweet. A poor girl defending a deaf girl? You two could complete each other. And do you think you scare me, idiot? As I was picking up my hearing aid, she pounced at me, but just then a boy stepped in and grabbed her hand. You should be scared, because the three of us can really kick your butt. They both pushed Claire away and sat near me. How sweet. That's how I first met the twins, Chris and Lisa, who soon became my best friends. Years passed, but since that day, Claire was our sworn enemy. She was such a pain in our butts, bullying us all the time. Luckily, I had Lisa and Chris by my side, and we had the best times together. One evening in eighth grade, I was just hanging out with the twins at their treehouse, and I was the last one to climb down the rope ladder. Just as I had started to, the rope suddenly snapped. I went screaming to the ground, but before I could hit it, Chris caught me. I got you. You're okay. Chris, you you just saved my life. You're my hero. Just then, my phone started ringing, and it was my mom. She was crying. I told Chris I had to go, and I ran home to find mom in tears. She'd lost both her jobs, and she hadn't paid rent for months. I had no idea things were that bad. There's only one thing I can think of now. I'll have to call mom. Mom? You mean I have a grandma? Mom then told probably hates me, and I don't cry. The next morning, when we took a cab to Grandma's place, I was amazed to see the size of it. It was a huge mansion. Grandma looked like she was a millionaire. We were led inside to an elegant, strict-looking woman who seemed shocked to see us. I thought she was going to start shouting, but instead she pulled me close and gave me a tight hug. Oh, how I've longed to see you. You're so beautiful and all grown up. M Mom, I'm sorry I kept her away from you, and but Grandma pulled her in too. We've been apart for way too long, darling, and I've been much too lonely. I'm sorry I was so stubborn, too. I'm, I'm just so glad you're back. Wow, <laughs> Grandma was cool. And just like that, my life completely changed. We moved into the mansion right away, and Grandma treated me like a princess. She took my mom to a fancy salon and then to amazing malls and restaurants. It was the best weekend of my life. The weekend just flew by, and it was time to get back to my own school. No, literally. Yeah, my grandma owned it. When I entered the school, everyone stood for a second to stare at me and the limo. And my classmates, their jaws dropped when they saw the different me. OMG, Dora, what have you done to your face and your hair? You look stunning. Yeah, right? It's all my grandma's doing, but I love it too. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, you look nice, but, uh, I mean, you always do. But just then, Claire walked past me and threw a whole bottle of ink on my new dress. Ugh, I lost it. I attacked her and pulled her hair really hard. Just then, the teacher walked in and pushed Claire away, helping me up. Dora, are you all right? I'm sorry for this misbehavior. I'll have the principal suspend the girl immediately. And class, let this be a warning to everyone. 
Don't mess with Dora. Her family owns the school. Everyone went ooh as the teacher took Claire to the principal. That felt awesome. Of course, the first thing I did was invite Chris and Lisa to my new home, and they were awestruck. We had the most amazing time in the pool and an in-house movie theater. But soon enough, my popularity in school started rising too. I was suddenly being invited to all the cool kids' parties. People wanted to sit next to me at lunch, especially the boys. And I had to admit, I was enjoying it. A few weeks later on a school trip, I got onto the bus and looked around for Lisa, but she wasn't there. Just then, Claire called out, "Eve, um, what's going on?" I would go bonkers, Claire. And she really did when she found out about your plan to kidnap me. What? What, what are you talking about?、Uh, what plan? Didn't you say you texted the whole plan to Dave? And with that, Lisa whipped out Dave's phone that she'd stolen from his locker earlier. And luckily, the moron hadn't deleted the text. The principal was horrified, and they were both immediately expelled. As Lisa and I jumped around and hugged, I said, "Just got one more thing to take care of now." I ran down the corridor to see Chris walking out of the school building, and I caught up to him. As he turned around, I put my arm around him and gave him a kiss. Whoa! What was that? I was just curious. Listen, can I ask you out for dinner this weekend? Without Lisa, of course. I think I'd really run along, but maybe it's time to change. And you have some natural cheerleading talent, so just come and audition tomorrow, okay? I knew she was only being nice to me now because I was rich. But I'd always wanted to try out for cheerleading. I told her I'd audition, and just then Lisa walked onto the bus. Seriously, you're sitting with the witch? You could have saved me a spot. Thanks for nothing. Hey, come on, that's kind of rude. Oh, was I rude to your new friend? Sorry. And with that, Lisa got off to sit in the other bus. Ah. It took two days for us to make up after that. I was having fun being a cheerleader, but with the practices and the games and after parties, I got less and less time to hang out with Lisa and Chris. One day, I was sitting with them in the cafeteria when the most popular jock in school, Dave, slid right next to me and grinned. Hey, so I've got this awesome party at my place this Saturday. Think you could make it? You'll break my heart if you say no. You can bring your friends too, if you want. I said yes and turned to them excitedly, but Chris muttered he had to go somewhere and left. And Lisa glared at me and stormed off too. I followed her. Hey, what was that? Someone invites you to a party and that makes you mad? No, you make me mad. Flirting with that jerk and going to this stupid party this weekend? I mean, who are you? A few months ago, we were making fun of these rich. Spoiled kids, and now you're one of them. Oh, really? What's bothering you, Lisa? That I'm rich, or that I'm popular? That you're pretending to be someone you're not, and you can't even see who really cares about you? What is that supposed to mean? And I care about you guys. I want you to go with me. No thanks. You used to be pretty cool, and now I don't know who this pathetic loser is. What did you just call me? I pulled her back by her shirt, and she started walking. And she turned around and attacked me. As we wrestled on the ground, Claire came running and pulled her off of me. But Lisa pushed her aside and left. And suddenly, I just felt really bad. Lisa and I had never fought like this before. I kept trying to call both her and Chris on Saturday, but neither of them replied. And then. I was mad, so I went to the party that evening anyway. I was having a great time, especially since Dave was being so attentive and dancing with me. I went to use the bathroom, and when I returned, I found Dave with Claire and a few other kids, and they were talking about me. Listen, how long do I have to dance with the deaf girl? I mean, yeah, she's hot, but it's not like I'd ever date someone like her. I'd rather spend time with some other chick. Don't be a moron and ruin everything. I texted you the whole plan this morning. You dance with her, then take her to the school and lock her. Not that hard. I don't know, man. Don't you think it's a bit much? No, it'll be fun. We're not hurting her. It's just for the weekend. The janitor will find her first thing on Monday, but her richy rich grandma will go bonkers in the meantime. It'll probably be on the news. Or maybe we should hide her somewhere for longer and ask for reward money. Oh my God! What? Thanks for letting me in on your plan, you psycho. I'll make sure you all pay for this. 
babe, it was all Claire. I was telling her it's wrong. She wouldn't listen. But I gave him a hard slap across the face as I ran off to my car. I could hardly believe it. But instead of going home, I told the driver to take me to Lisa's. She'd been right. I'd been a fool to think these people could ever be nice. I already had amazing friends, and I couldn't lose them. But when I reached their house, I nearly died when I saw balloons at the gate. Oh my god, it was the twins' birthday today. That's why she was extra mad at me. How could I have forgotten it? I found Chris sitting on the porch outside, and he didn't look happy to see me. Chris, I'm so sorry. I feel like such a fool. I should have never gone to the party. I can't believe I missed your birthday. Dora, you don't have to be sorry. You're beautiful, rich. You're surrounded by the most popular guys, but I've I've loved you ever since I met you. Um, what? What did you just say? You heard me just fine. I've tried telling you before, too, but uh, you just never took the hint. It's okay if you don't like me that way. I'm sure there are better guys out there for you, but you do need to start being a better friend again. He got up and walked inside, leaving me in tears. He was the best guy. How could I have been so blind? The next day, our school was competing in a big baseball game, but I had something more important to do. Lisa was having some of her amazing photographs displayed in a small gallery, and I had to be there. As I was admiring a photo, I heard her behind me. Wow, didn't expect to see you here. You're so good at missing things. Also, isn't there a big game today? What's the team going to do without their star cheerleader? I don't care. I'm just sorry for being a terrible friend, Lisa. You were right about everything. Those people are awful, and I was so stupid for not seeing that. I'm sorry for hurting you. Please forgive me, and let me join the cool kids club again. Lisa slowly grinned and then hugged me so hard I nearly fell down. And when I told her all about the party, she was angrier than I was. Oh my God, that witch is so gonna pay for it. The next day during the last lesson, the teacher walked in and said the principal was calling me 